Here is the shared ante room versus the airlock. So let's call this design criteria A. If you notice, all of these rooms share air. So my anti prep room, right, and there would be the line of demarcation here. So I'm doing everything in here that's non hazardous prep and and or hand hygiene. It shares air going into the HD prep. This would be high risk. So if I'm doing like, I don't know, testosterone injectables or something like that. So I'm going from non sterile to sterile. So I'm pulling in air in here, and that same air is getting pulled into the sterile HD buffer. So in this example, all of these rooms are essentially sharing air, which means the entire clean room needs to be rated as an ISO 7. Now, some folks will say, well, I like for my technicians to be able to move between room to room without having to go back and reperform hand hygiene. I appreciate that as well. However, with hazardous, it gets a little bit more of a sticky widget to allow them to take potentially, uh, potentially contaminated garb from one hazardous area to another, and we would definitely never let them take potentially soil garb out of a hazardous room into a positive pressure space. So it is okay if you need, if you're sharing air, then you're gonna do an all ISO 7 rated environment. Or if you say, I don't know about all the particles getting generated in this anti-prep because I've got my depyrogenation oven. Only because the FDA said that I had to. And I know some people are like, wait a minute, why would you put a depyrogenation oven in an ISO rated environment? Because that's a burn now with the FDA where they wanna see that inside of an ISO rated area. So imagine I've got non-hazardous high risk weighing, I've got hand hygiene, I've got garbing, I've got a depyro oven. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to maintain ISO 7 in this space. So I wanna rate that as an ISO 8 because legitimately if I'm doing pre-sterilization weighing activity, I can do that inside of an ISO 8 because USP 797 says that I absolutely can. So I'm actually going to add an airlock. Now the airlock, which is not present here, but added to the same design, essentially what that does now is that allows me to break up the spaces. And I'm sorry, I didn't have the cursor before, but this is the same design A, same design B, except for we added now an airlock right here. So what I've done is this area where the depyro oven is, hand hygiene, high risk weighing, can now get rated as an ISO 8. And so maybe my environmental sampling doesn't, isn't quite as intensive and I'm not as concerned about keeping this as an ISO 7. And I'm doing the HD prep. Again, I may be weighing testosterone or any other dry API before going to final filtering or terminal sterilization, whatever you're doing, by just breaking up two ISO spaces with that airlock. I hope that made sense.